Hey everybody, Mr. Movies87 here, welcome back to Let's Play Precipice of Darkness 3, the beginning of the end. Let's press onward, and what is that bag and hat over there? Anyway, tiny flowers have begun to poke up through the indentation. Interesting, lovely, nice. Hey people, hello. Hey, is your shop people from before? What are y'all doing here? Well, while I'm here, I want to buy some new stuff. Uh, the even softer gloves for Gabe. And the front wards for Taiko there. Same stuff as uh, the main storyline, so we'll go ahead and sell off the old crap. Okay, takes care of that. Um, items here, not that I have the money to buy them, but it's there. Um, and what else do we have over here? Alright, and some accessories as well. Um, I do want to get the strength regimen for uh, Gabe there. I'll get a, a magic ring for Taiko later. Oh, wow, lovely, cool. Go away. I hope that didn't pop in the, in, the, uh, in the video there. It shouldn't have, I don't think. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and equip the um, regimen there. Yeah, the briquettes, well, they had their fun, so we're done with them. Alrighty, and who in the heck do we have here? Approaching the thoroughly doomed house for the third time, the locust for so much that has occurred, the pair creep toward the threshold. The sleeping form in the rebel bears a familiar shape. Indeed, it is a, it is a shame that it has always intrigued the scroll because it was always vibrated. Interesting. That is to say, it was never entirely one thing. Indeed, they seemed to be a sequence of possible things. You never, you never understood why nobody else could see it, but he could, and he knew they had a part to play. Hey, there's that friend we used to have. Hi, what's going? Nyar! What? <laughs> um, before Gabriel could finish the sentence, Taito has slipped the incredibly scratchy badge over the sleeping form and sent it at the top. What? Why? That's what I'm wondering, too. Did I misclick the window? Yeah, I did. I love how that happens. <laughs> uh, it's complicated. Yeah. You joined the party. Oh, 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 okay. Hi. Um, so yeah, this is, um, your own character, or not like, it's a character that you had in, uh, POD 1 and POD 2. They just kind of refer to it as you. So, it's a cool little uh, throwback there. I like it. Alright, also some abilities here as well. Uh, we are the, uh, Garden R now. Um, abilities here, same as before. Um, yeah, defensive buff, uh, supercharged garden, and enemies more likely, likely to target. Uh, rage slash here will pretty much be our main attack because it's decent damage and also it adds bleed, which is very, very helpful. Alrighty. They've been here before, of course, though never quite understood these conditions. Not entirely clear what happened to the house at this particular time, but oh no, there it is. This time, the house decided to sink into the earth. The sinkhole is visible, a strange music tinkles out. Interesting, I don't hear anything else. Just the same song as before. Anyway, um, I think this is, um... Is this, um... Petty Shark's house? Or you're a Petty Shark's house from before? I don't remember. Anyway, seeing a foe writhing in the distance, or maybe it isn't a foe, maybe it's just some guy, Tycho wonders if keeping his charge entirely helpless is actually an awesome plan. It doesn't seem to be. I know this we just kidnapped you, and this probably seems rude, but I definitely need you to fight and maybe even grievously be, yeah, even be grievously injured in our service. Are you sh- what? <laughs> Don't die, though. That's out of the question. If you die, I'll be super mad. Well, gee, thanks for your concern. <laughs> he cuts a hole in the set and extends a storied raid, a raid that is whirled at the center of a thousand deaths. Her hand tend tenderly grabs it. That's right, yeah, we're sticking to the old pronoun things here. <laughs> just like old times, right? Mostly? No? Alright. <laughs> Remember, don't die. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, thanks. Alright, new enemies here, some squatters. His hoodie is actually a carpet of malevolent ancient moss. Ill. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that, uh, RTFM. And we'll go for our Rage Slash. Yeah, Rage Slash with 15 bleed. If you, uh, if you lose it for gods, bleed is essentially poison in this game. Enemies lose H a little bit of HP on each of their turns there. So, very useful for uh, boss fights there. Uh, let's see, Gabe will just attack you. We'll go RTFM on you. Not that I really needed to do that, but oh well. Oh yeah, by the way, for the uh, volume, I rewatched the last episode. Um, well, I turned down the volume to four in the video as well. Um, but yeah, it did seem a little loud, at least to me anyway. And I have it set to, uh, to four as now for this. It should be, still be able to be heard, obviously, just not as loud. I think just the uh, the main theme there on the on the street there was just a little louder than everything else was, so. But yeah, we should be in good shape now anyway. Alrighty, uh, moving along. Ooh, a bat. Bat swarm. That's a lot of bats. I don't like bats. 
like a rain cloud, but instead of rain, it shoots out angry sky mice. Oh god, I, I want no part of that, thank you. Um, actually, I don't really need to use Rage Slash in normal battles. If the enemy has a lot of HP in a normal battle, then I'll more so use it. But I believe the physical attack here should do a little more damage there. Or not. <laughs> well, it works well enough anyway. It softens, softens him up, and then boom, Gabe does his thing. You know, with the punching. It's what he does. Alrighty. Uh, what have we next? Um, oh, there's a big bug thing over there. Oh, we'll go over here first. And let's see. I think there's one... Yep, there we go. <laughs> there's one more chest up there. And new enemies. Splinter Elemental. Is that an actual element? I don't think it is. A loose coalition of splinters who loves who love the job and take it seriously. Well, good for them. Uh, yeah, usual, first blood, RTFM, and in this case, I do want to use Rage Slash here because these guys have a lot of HP. And I would assume, you know, being giant monsters made of wood and whatnot, they're weak to fire. I would really, really hope so, anyway. So this would be where the upper cats would come in handy if I were using them, but I don't feel like it because... reasons. <laughs> No, you guys know why, so I'm not going to bother, really. I might have you, um, you as in the bad person, use Rage Slash on the uh, other one as well to soften them up. Uh, then we'll go Ice Shards, then yeah, we'll go on you, so might as well. Yeah, same as before, yeah, Gabe's magic is not that good. You can make it better if you so choose, but being a brute, it doesn't really make much sense to have him be magical Gabe, because it, that just doesn't work. <laughs> what if that... Did that do anything? Because I have no idea. Um, let's see, RTFM, well, now will definitely kill you. Um, let's see, not that I can really do much with you, so I oh, didn't mean to do that. Not that it matters. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I'll eventually get to, I just thought of now, I'll eventually get to uh, LP and POD1 and POD2 once I eventually, you know, buy them. <laughs> I will at some point, just a matter of when. Um, let's go for an attack. Oh. Why did I have him attack? I should use RTFM. Oh well, whatevs. Uh, yeah, fireball. And one more RTFM should do it. Please don't die. You remember what Taiko said about the not dying? And to, you know, not do it. <laughs> okay, ooh, finish him. I'll finish M, whatever. Yeah, new ability for Gabe there, which I don't think we had before. Ooh, double damage with only one enemy is left. That could actually be pretty useful. Okay, let's go ahead and take out the big old bug over here. Um, really a bitch spider. Absolutely named, to be sure. Oh, uh, let's see. Two-time winner, New Arcadia Bitch Spider Contest. Only a two-time winner? I'm disappointed. Um, so yeah, we'll do a little Sucker Punch first. Um, full Auto might not be a bad idea, actually. Just, uh, I did not want to do that. Well, Full Auto is a good idea. I didn't really want to use the, uh, Tranquil Waters Garden there. But it's already been done, so, oh well. What's that I can do? That's a big truck out there. It's, um... Our... No, no, it's a, it's a K. Uh, KD Supply. It's right in front of our uh, complex right now, for some reason. Um, anyway, Fireball on the Bitch Spider. Go full auto. And we'll just have you physical attack. Might as well. Can't do much otherwise for right now. He does learn a very, very useful ability in just a few levels, if I recall. I forget what level exactly, but we'll see in due time there. And the Bitch Truck went bye-bye, so there's that. That was fun. Uh, fireball on the bitch spider. Um, full auto. Full auto. There we go. Yeah, again, full auto. Useful for the AoE damage, but not so much for the actual direct damage it does. It's mostly useful for that, really. Just put damage on all enemies, takes only one MP, and it works, it works well enough. Anyway, ooh, rake two. Weapon for you. It's a rake. Well, no flippity shit! Could have fooled me with that one. Ooh, nice dead gains on that. Awesome. I will happily use that. Okay, so let's make our way... Oh, wait, there's one more spider over here. How do I get to it? I kind of missed that. It's... Oh, wait, I think I see. Yeah, I want to make sure I fight all the things in here. Oh, uh, here we go. I didn't see that at first. With one more chest. And more spiders! I hate spiders, by the way. I really just do not like them at all. Um, yeah, RTFM. Uh, Rage Slash might as well. Gabe can almost one-shot those things with, uh... First Blood. Nice. I love that. I love Gabe, by the way. <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again. He is wonderful. <laughs> he would be my uh, second favorite character. Well, he would be my first overall if Taito didn't exist, because Taito's a fucking badass. Need I say more about him? Not really. No. 
That's why I made him my avatar for, like, everything. Alrighty, uh, one more fireball might do it. If not, then RTFM will. Oh, they're not weeds to fire? You'd think they would be, but apparently not. Eh, oh well. Ooh, level 9. Nice. Okay, one more chest over here. Ooh, a trench coat. Statement piece that protects allies when you defend. Um, might as well? I never defend anyway, but it's, it's there, I guess. Oh, what I do want to do... Um, okay, I have a decent amount of money. I'm going to buy some more stuff, actually, before progressing any more, well, forward. Mainly accessories. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so I need you. Steady a magic ring for Tycho there, and I will get a strength regimen for you. And also, I don't, you can't buy any weapons for you, I don't think. Yeah, just for a Tycho and Gabe there, so there's that. But yeah, the magic ring for you, and the regimen for you. As far as items go, nah, can't buy anything yet. Hey, I believe in the story mode, you only have potions available, so just keep that in mind there. Yeah, this part here, the music is a little loud-ish. Um, it shouldn't be that bad, though. I made sure of that, so... Okay, so... What in the world? How does the house lead to this? Like, really? Light leaks through, through, light leaks through the hole above, filtering through clusters of what looked to be raw topaz, which couldn't possibly be because of the size of a car. Damn. Topaz! Nope, too big. How do you know, nerd? But ha! Huh, I knew it couldn't be a coincidence. There were simply too many nested phenomena. What? That's what I've been saying! No, listen. This neighborhood and this house specifically have always been screwed. It goes way back. Sure. Is it just a shithole? It... <laughs> sure. No. Well, yes, it could be that too. But these crystals, they're bad luck. Why is that? Gabriel removes a piece from his pocket, drops it, and gets it away. Why did you have a piece of that with you anyway? No, I mean, they're literally bad luck in solid form. How is that even possible? We need to push through all this frown stone to the chamber beyond. Why? To see if I keep being right. <laughs> he, he likes being right, by the way. Gabriel stops for a second. Wait, that rock. The bad luck rock. Yes. Is it? It's really called Frownstone? Tycho shakes his head. That tight jaw sets. No. But it should be. <laughs> I agree with you. I mean, if it's bad luck, it, I mean, it would cause you to be sad and stuff anyway, make you frown, so it, <laughs> it's an apt name. Um, I do want to fight one enemy in here to start, so we'll go over here. Also, I want that chest. Ooh, bite fish. I wonder what they do. I think I think they bite you. They don't always bite, but when they do, wow. Yeah, look, look at those fucking teeth. Those things are enormous. RTFM. And yeah, with these guys, they have a lot of HP, so we'll go for a good old rate slash there. And yeah, I'll grab the chest there, and then I'll probably call it a day. Maybe. I, I might fight one more battle. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll have Gabe attack you, actually. We'll go RTFM on you. And then, um, Rage Slash on the other one there. Yeah, I'll be using Rage Slash a lot through this oh, mini LP. Just because of the, the damage is decent and also the bleed effect. It's more so for the bleed effect, really. Uh, Brute Punch, that might be able to kill you, actually. Ah, uh, yes it does. Nice. Good job, Gabe. Thumbs up. Yes! Level 9, we learned Rate Whirlwind. This attack is more or less kind of like your trump card for the entire game. What that does... Yeah, light attack on all enemies and still keeps its bleed effect intact. That is extremely helpful. Also, knitters. Benevolent spiders sew wounds with pearlescent silk. Those are... Well, they re uh, give you regen, pretty much. I um, mean, you know, I'll fight one more battle, actually. Why not? There we go, with ancient take... Oh, god. Ill. It's takeout food that's alive. I'll pass on that. It's not edible. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Well, one would imagine. Um, let's see. Gabe should be able to one-shot them with, with the first blood there. And then we'll go Raid Whirlwind. There we go. Good job, Gabe. And, ooh, almost one-shot there. Yeah, with a little higher magic, I should be able... I, well, I would have been able to uh, one-shot them there. So, eh, well, no big deal. Uh, we'll just go attack here. One more RTFM. That's pretty much all I'll have Tycho do is RTFM for the most part. Because his physical attack, not that great, really. It's okay, but nothing it's trapped and not like Gabe or anything. Also, this part is very peaceful, oddly enough, with the music. Just a little tinkles and whatnot. Eh, uh, tinkle. It's a funny word. Okay, see, so yeah, I want to go ahead and make my way up here. And then, we're even already, by the way. Um, well, there's a recap. Okay, well, no, well, we're underneath the house. And they'll head on through more of this chamber and see what lies beyond. Next time, well, let's play Precipice of Darkness 3, the beginning of the end. 
This has been Mr. Movies 87 signing off. Guys, have a great day and thanks for watching.